the uh, Purple Stride Louisville. Okay. I, I am the uh, coordinator. And this year we're virtual, and uh, which is different, you know, but we raise money for pancreatic cancer research. 93% of all the money raised will go towards research. So um, I'm very grateful that God has blessed me with being a 16-year survivor. So I'm very grateful um, to my Joy's Believers, all the people that have supported me over the last 16 years with their prayers and their support for me and my family, my children. And um, Joy's Believers, we just, we believe in God. Mm -hmm. We believe that we can win when we step to the line and we, we believe that Pancreatic Cancer Action Network will find a cure for pancreatic cancer. So I have a lot of gratitude for my Joy's Believers and all of the families that have supported me, my family, my friends, and a lot of gratitude to the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. They, uh, they are leading the way in helping to find a cure. And I'm happy to say that we are now at 10% survival rate. Oh, wow. um, we finally got into double digits, and that's because of people like you that donate to teams like mine so that hopefully in the future parent you know people that get that diagnosis are not given that death sentence from the get-go that they know that they have a chance and um, we're one of the deadliest cancers and such a low survival rate but we want to change that we want to change it so um Okay, Joy's Believers. So where do people go on? Is that is that a .com or where where do, where can people find you if they want to donate? Where where do they go? Uh, if you'd like to donate, you would go to uh, Purple Stride Louisville 2020. Uh, my team name is Joy's Believers. Um, if you'd like to make a donation and support the cause for pancreatic cancer, that's beautiful. So um, is that the .com and then they find you inside of it? I'm just trying to understand where. Yes, when you go to the Purple Stride Louisville website, okay. it will list all the teams. Oh, okay. You can find me by Joy Hines or Joy's Believers. Okay, okay. beautiful. And then uh, one of the questions here, this isn't about order, this is about who pops into your head. Uh, in this moment, um, who's somebody that you're grateful for? An individual. My husband. Okay, well, what's your husband's name? Rob. Okay, and what's, what are some qualities you love about Rob? He has been my rock. Uh, anybody who's ever watched anybody go through a, a deadly disease like cancer, you've got to have that support group. And he always had faith that I would beat it. He kept all those medicines and doctor's appointments. And, you know, when you're so sick that you can't lift your head up, you know, he's the one there. And, uh, I don't know if I'd be here if it wasn't for the love and support of my husband. That was beautiful. Thank you for sharing Rob with me. What a, what a gift, right? He's a good guy. He's a yeah. good guy. I mean, um, he's there. He's been there through the good, the bad. And um, when I've had some really dark days, just, you know, him coming into that hospital room, holding my hand, rubbing my hair, uh, telling me, we'll get through this. And we're, we're a team. And um, also am very grateful for my three children who have been very supportive and have watched me go through a lot. And as they've gotten older, have come to understand what I have really battled and been through. Um, and uh, they're very supportive too. That's beautiful. I, I love, uh, you know, obviously you've been had a lot of treatments been in the hospital but the fact that you're pointing out you know the the light that you know rob coming in your children is like the light shining in on that dark days um where you know even though you were in a lot of pain you could see the see the gratitude and the experience not obviously the gratitude the concept and the experience of what you're going through these people mean so much you know um and sharing us with them that's uh that's really powerful it's really beautiful and i really appreciate it and what you're doing uh what you've created from your experience and helping out the society and, and, and cancer research is really, um, what a beautiful thing out of something so ugly, right? Right. Well, what we're hoping to, what I hope with Joy's Believers is with being an elementary physical education teacher, a lot of these kids didn't even know what the pancreas was. 
So to be able for them to come out and run in their purple, to come be a part of the purple stride, um, to have a cause, because if we're going to continue this fight, you know, we're hoping to grab them when they're young to where we can make purple the new pink. You like know, <laughs> when you see purple, you're thinking pancreatic cancer, just like you see pink, you think of breast cancer. So, you know, we're trying to build that sense of community, mm -hmm. that sense of, you know, doing community service, because when you're a part of an event like this, Purple Stride, um, you're raising community awareness. I mean, everywhere they wear this purple shirt, and they're standing in the grocery line or whatever, people are seeing it. Right. And so it just helps get that, that word out. And um, Joy's Believers, we've always been a very big team, 200, 250 members. And a lot of those are younger. They're mm -hmm. the kids. They love to run, and we accommodate them. And uh, we see a lot of purple around, uh, or around Louisville where these kids are learning about the pancreas and how deadly pancreatic cancer is. And, you know, hopefully as they become adults, that will go with them. You know, whether they go another direction, you know, whether it's it's Alzheimer's, whether it's, you know, uh, MS or whatever, they understand that there is power in numbers and that you can help change people's lives, give people hope. Right. And uh, that's why at PanCan, our rally cry is rage hope. Wage hope. hope. Wage hope. So that's what we're all about. That's beautiful. Well, I want to end with that. Well, Joy, thank you so much. Wage hope. Yes. Yes. So thank you so much, Joy. And uh, I'm Chris saying just uh, stay grateful. We all have a lot to be grateful for. And Joy just reminded us of some things that, um, some really powerful things to be grateful for. So have a wonderful day.